So today I want to talk about a little bit of um, the disadvantages of owning a vending machine. So um, basically what happens is I do have vending machines like two hours away and I last serviced them. Like one of them I last serviced it um, two days ago, right? But then yesterday I got a phone call from my location saying, well the machine has just resetted all the prices to um, $4. $4 is good for me but it's not a good customer, you know care service and things like that so what happened is i'm heading down there today which is supposed to be my day off and i was just down there two days ago so this is really frustrating these are the things you have to look at um out for while owning a vending machine business it is completely ridiculous i do feel like it is um it is you know it's it just finishes all your energy it takes all it takes time it takes time, it takes fuel, it takes gas, it takes every, you know. But at the end of the day, this is what we choose. And these are the disadvantages of owning a vending machine. You will get phone calls like this. It's not all going to be, you know, a walkthrough. But at the end of the day, hey, when they pay themselves off and they start making you the dollars, you got to think about it and go, mm, the money's worth it. So guys, let's go and see what's wrong with this machine. And I'll let you know two hours later, huh? Cheers, bye. So we end up going to this location, right? Check out the machine, though. It's been two days and we have, um, I believe it's like two or three empty columns. No, two. And then we have soft drink nearly running out. So this location is a good performer. But as I said, it was charging $4 for everything. So that was not a good thing. Um, I thank god i got the phone call as soon as i got it and i had to go down there it's a two um it is two hours from my house where i live um and yeah it is a bad thing when these things happen because at the end of the day you have to provide better or the best customer service and i'm so glad i got this phone call um when you do this kind of business you do realize it's not all about you it's all about the customers and good customer services always gets us into better location good location makes us make friends you know you get these referrals from these guys i have got a referral from these guys for doing a really good job and put this in mind i've been in the business for um less than three months i do have eight locations at the moment and i do have two more coming on board two more big locations i'm talking about like a big um uh, post office location where uh, uh, guys do pick you know all the passes to where they're going um so you know it's all about doing the best out there and you know having a clear name this is the kind of business we're in i did give them a big apology about you know the extra money the machine was charging i did give them the refund back uh, but could we please take a second and recognize how much money this machine made in two days? Two days. That was a total of $62. And I gave them back $20 to say, hey, I'm sorry for what had happened. But if any of you guys lost, you know, that money, you guys can have that. That's okay with me. Um, I'm so sorry that had happened. So I checked the machine. As you can see there, I'm going to check out the money and then I'm going to go to um, the counter to give them back some money. When I do that, I say to them, mate, that happened, you know, uh, but it won't happen again because I've changed all the prices. I'm sure it won't, help. it won't happen again. I'm so sorry for any inconvenience that this may have happened, that this may have caused. And I say to them, mate, um... When it happens again, I do always appreciate these phone calls. <laughs> Look right there. I had like put my, my keys under there and I was just like going to the car after I had paid off um, the money that the machine had, you know, had taken. Um, and then after there, I went and, you know, did a background check on the machine and serviced it all well. And I had to be two hours uh, drive back home because, yeah, two days <laughs> servicing a machine in two days. But it did two, it did really, really well for two days. This is a, um, a mechanics shop. 
these guys do fix cars they are the best in brisbane um they do not have too many employees but they smash these things up um so other than that thank you guys for watching i do appreciate all your efforts watching supporting me and everything so please like share and subscribe thank you bye